My name is Massimo Capra and I'm here to show you how to make a beautiful farinata hors d'oeuvre. This is my take on it. Now, to make the farinata that I'm going to show you, you need this. You need water. Very simply. Put a little bit of water in there. Just a little touch of good olive oil. A little salt. Add your chickpea flour. Just liberally. And don't worry about it. It's not like real flour. It will not make lumps. Okay, they'll melt. So put it all in, just like that. Stir it up until you achieve a pancake batter. So, now we have to rest it because, you know, after being scrambled like this, it needs a little break. So we'll put it away either overnight refrigerated or if you make it in the morning for the evening, that's good enough. So I have mine already made, rested right here. And as you can see, it's a beautiful big picture. Look at that. That's a great little batter. That's awesome. We are making little bite-sized little pancakes about this big, about an inch and a half, two inches big. What we are going to garnish them with is some cherry tomato. Beautiful local cherry tomato. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Many different varieties. These are the heirloom cherry tomatoes, so you can put whatever you like. So basically what I'm doing is I've cut some tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes in half. What we're going to do is we're going to prepare our frying pan, just a little touch of oil. And what I mean by touch means a lot. There's no such a thing as a touch. There you go. Make sure we spread it around nicely, because this has to fry like so, but we'll put the cherry tomato right in the middle. Now what I'm doing is I flip them, I'm pressing them down a little bit so that I squeeze out the juices from the tomato. I want them to stick and I want the steam to actually cook the top because on the top we are going to put a little bit of arugula pesto. I'm gonna show you how to make that next. Okay, now we have our pancakes prepared. Everything is ready. They're called little farinata. Okay, we could eat them like this, of course. I mean, they're great, just like that. But we are going to garnish them with a little bit of arugula pesto. Follow me. You need a food processor, obviously. Arugula, fresh arugula. Stuff it all in. In this one, we need a garlic. Maybe we'll do just one clove in this one. Smack it down a bit, just like that and then we can start the process. Let me add the oil. Now what I'm gonna add is Parmigiano Reggiano grated. So Parmigiano, arugula, a little oil, maybe a pinch of salt to balance out the flavors. And then we'll take a lemon. We'll, uh, just a drop or two of lemon, just like that. So the pesto is done. Turn the machine off, unlock it, remove the bowl, and then bring a bowl close to you. Look how beautiful this is. And your pesto is ready, right there. What do we do now? We have a presentation plate, something beautiful, white, or whatever you have that you feel comfortable about presenting to your guests. And all we have to do, put the pancake in. We'll put a nice canal right beside it, just like that. Keep the spoon clean. And then we'll uh, Parmigiano Reggiano again, because it's never enough, really. With a potato peeler, just like so. Put it right on. Better. There you have it, your beautiful farinata with the arugula pesto, little parmigiano. These are gonna be awesome. Buon appetito.